Currently, there are two types of power supply, direct current, DC, and alternating current, AC. Thomas Edison used DC power to light the bulb. Tesla uses an AC power supply system. Chicago's World's Fair 1893 was the first exposition to use electric lighting in human history. Let Edison and Tesla start a current war between AC and DC. DC power will be continuously lost under long-distance transmission, so power stations must be added every other distance. Alternating current can be raised to very high voltages through transformers and carried over long distances. Therefore, the use of AC power for long-distance transmission can effectively reduce costs. So after the fair, alternating current became more and more popular and today it is the main electricity we use today. Electric system for van life. Regarding the choice of power supply for van life, what is the difference between DC and AC? Compared to the electricity supplied by power company, van life has the concept of mobility. There is AC power supply at camping grounds. Outside camp, it is convenient to have a storage device. The batteries in all energy storage devices are DC, which can directly supply power to DC appliances. Hence when you need AC power during van life, an inverter is required to convert DC power to AC. Inverters Some of the electrical appliances in van life are AC and some are DC. When using AC power, DC power is converted to AC with an inverter. When using DC power, electricity from the battery can be directly supplied to DC electrical appliances, the voltage must be consistent. Regarding inverters, there are many brands and specifications on the market. We must pay attention to the following points in use. 1. Starting current. Power can be converted to AC to support high wattage household appliances, which are typically larger in size and has higher power requirements than standard automotive appliances. Such high wattage appliances require a larger starting current than the running current. It is easy to cause instantaneous overload and affect the service life of the inverter. For example, a coffee machine already in operation consumes 300 watts of power. But during startup, it creates a voltage spike of 1000 watts within a few seconds. 2. Efficiency. Efficiency refers to how much electrical energy entering the inverter is converted into usable alternating current. Due to the relationship of the circuit, the energy lost in the inverter link is converted into the thermal energy of the power tube and the transformer. This heat is detrimental to the operation of the inverter and threatens the safety of the device. Therefore the efficiency of the inverter is not 100%. Currently, the highest conversion efficiency is only about 90%, 10% will be converted into heat loss. 3. Heat Dissipation Inverter contains electronic components for conversion. It consumes part of the electricity due to heat generated during operation. Poor heat dissipation can lead to low performance or even damage. This is challenging for small interior spaces. Keeping it in a well-ventilated environment helps to dissipate heat. This prevents overheating which can cause device failure or safety concerns. 4. Zero Load Power The inverter has a loss of conversion efficiency and has loss during standby. And with the increase of wattage, the standby power consumption will also increase proportionally. That is to say, if a high wattage inverter is selected according to the starting current requirements of the appliance. Even if a low wattage is usually used, there will still be a high wattage standby loss. With these shortcomings of the inverter, we see that the use of AC electrical appliances in the car. Inevitably reduces the usable space in the car, causes high power consumption and is an expensive setup. What are the advantages of using DC directly without using an inverter? DC for all? If van life relies fully on DC power, without the need to convert it to AC power through an inverter, the use of DC appliances will improve power efficiency while avoiding problems with high starting current. There is also no heat dissipation problem with the battery and the battery can be hidden. Appliances designed for use in cars tend to be smaller, easier to store, and less power-hungry. Due to the long-distance travels of transportation trucks and the rapid increase of van life enthusiasts, many commonly used electrical appliances are manufactured to fit 
the specifications of DC power supply. In addition to the above electrical appliances, we often use electronic devices such as mobile phones, tablets and laptops. They are all direct current, which can be directly powered by direct current. There is no need to convert the power to AC with an inverter, and then convert the power back to DC with an AC transformer. Therefore, power supply of the battery in the form of DC apports the most efficient usage. Conclusion The power rating of an inverter must be higher than the power consumption of the appliance. The more electricity you use, the heavier and more expensive the inverter you need. And alongside, more power is lost in the conversion. For cooking a bowl of rice, use DC power with a car rice cooker. Even though the power is relatively small and it takes longer than an AC appliance. It is relatively safe and stable and does not have additional power loss due to conversion. Direct current is an advantageous choice for van life. So we shall abandon the idea of an inverter and choose DC appliances and high efficiency lithium iron phosphate batteries. This shall be an efficient system to power van life. Finally, to emphasize that we do not entirely deny the use of AC. We are researching if it's possible to increase battery efficiency with a suitable DC appliance.